Hi guys, welcome back to a bit more Factorio. Um, I'm just telling you, I just made a shit ton of changes actually to my factory because it was like the weekend. It was bored and I wanted to also nuclear power is almost done. And I've been also thinking of certain things um, regarding how I was going to approach Death World and I realized that my approach was not good uh, beforehand. So the original plan was let's say I want to get this uh, copper ore patch here. I was going to actually have these rails like this all the way through. I was basically just going to like have them rush there. That's why I made small trains so they can run there and potentially not get killed by biters. Apparently that's not a good thing in version uh, 0.16. So we're changing our, the way our train network works. This is the old legacy one. We're going to remove it a little bit later. Um, the new one is uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make highways all throughout the map. And when there's like close resources like this, I'm going to actually accompany uh, a compass this as a part of the wall. Uh, that's how that's how we're going to do this. Um, that's just kind of the nature of how this is going to work. Uh, it's not necessarily the most optimal way of doing things, but it's the only way I can think of. Now, traditionally in Death World, the thing is, version 15 Death World is not the same as version 16 Death World. Uh, on version 15, the ore patches were much smaller. Uh, they pretty much look kind of like this, maybe with a little bit more in there, but they look kind of like that. Uh, so they only have a little bit. So what you'd do in Death World in version 15 is you'd expand your borders as much as possible. Whenever you wanted more resources, you just clear them out, go go in, get them, and all that kind of stuff. In version 16, what they've done is they spread out the resources, but they've also spread out the enemy bases. So uh, if you actually look at a, any kind of video or let's play of a of a version 15 Death World, um, they're not they're going to be actually more clustered. It's going it's to look literally like like twice as dense as this. But the whole point was that you clear it out and then you go get the the mines that are in there and you just expand your wall. So the way we're going to do, we're going to do it a bit different. I'm going to do highways, which is like railways just surrounded by walls all the way up. And we're actually going to change our wall system here to basically be too thick rather than three. And it's going to be uniform, too thick all around the base, which means I need to remove one layer around the base. I'm t just telling you I'm doing that now. Uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is the train system is, chain uh, is changing. So um, I've kind of decided that... Uh, I'll tell you what my original idea was. Um, so we're going nuclear, right? And we're about to get into nuclear. Um, but the way nuclear works is that there's um, steam as a part of it. Um, but, so the way the way the way nuclear works in this game is it's like you have uh, it makes steam for into into heat exchangers. So you basically have your nuclear reactors. They have adjacency bonuses. I'll get more into that. But the product is steam, which goes into um, st steam turbines. That's how nuclear power works. And so the original plan actually was to, I'll actually even show you, there's a fluid wagon here. And I was actually going to put a fluid, uh, where is the fluid wagon? I was going to put a fluid wagon right here on the end of every single one. That's why there are three. And then they were going to basically go fill up uh, the, the rear wagon with uh, heat, uh, with um, steam from the heat exchangers. And then they would basically power these far outposts so I wouldn't have to bring power lines uh, to each one. Because the power lines like to get attacked by biters. And if these power if these power lines die, um, that's that's game over. That's that the the outpost is unpowered and only defended by flamethrowers, which obviously doesn't really work. Um, so that was going to be my grandiose solution for for kind of getting to the faraway outpost like that one, but that's actually not going to work. We're going to do a highway system instead. Um, so with that being said, uh, so why did I change this? So. I'll actually show you what my plan is now. I need to actually get some more steel. Um, so, I usually do four carriages, um, and then I regretted not making four carriages, so I decided that I'm going to actually do four carriages anyways, but then again, I just wasted a bunch of time on making a, a, a train system I'm not going to use because I'm bad. So, this does mean a couple things. Uh, the first thing it means is that um, we no longer need... Um, uh, we no longer need to really care about uh, uh, bringing oil over to our outpost. So that means this the system I have here. Well, it's, it's a kind of neat barreling system. It's not necessary anymore because we're not using that. Uh, we're getting rid of that. Um, it also simplifies the train orders because then they can really work off of inactivity. Uh, but basically, this, the same thing is going to go apply all the way around. So we're not going to barrel the light oil anymore. And on that fact... Uh, basically, all the turrets now run off of light oil. I've decided to put light oil around the base. Probably should have done that actually a little bit earlier. Uh, it's just a couple places where it's not actually there, crude oil, because it's still using it up. And the, and the minute that those flamethrowers actually use up the, re the remainder of it, then um, 
we'll be back to uh, light oil. So we're making larger trains, and I actually thought of like this genius thing uh, that I, I mean, honestly, I I love and hate it, but it's actually kind of smart in a way. So the, re the there's a there's a second reason why I do I was doing smaller trains. So I've always had a problem with. Um, Stops like this, so you know how like I want to reduce the footprint of the stop. So if I actually look here, so I made this like three wide, right? Um, sorry, three three down, all the way. So that's that's good. Like I was gonna have, as I said, it was gonna unload the 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 steam the, the 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 heated steam onto uh for onto the thing for the um uh for the what's gonna call it um for the steam turbines the, to make greener power. So that was kind of the plan. That's why we made smaller trains, and so that's kind of the problem. But you, you have to, you have to, you have to realize though. You see, look at this, look at this shit. So, I have the train here. The, the the locomotive itself doesn't actually do anything here. Interestingly enough, it's at the stop, but there's really no reason for it to be there. Also, we're like running low on coal, or okay, we're not running low on coal, but I basically have to plug this in over here because of uh, reasons. Uh, I'm just telling you that now. That's something else I did do. So, realizing this, um, welcome to the most retarded trains you're ever going to see in any factorial run ever. And I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Um, so this is going to be my place here. Uh, right here. I I'm actually not fucking kidding. I I'm actually completely serious right now about what I just did here. So, I, I made like already a system for fueling them. So I'm going to have this one... What's this one called? It's like Lombido or whatever the fuck. All right, you're gonna go to Lombido until inactivity five seconds. All right, go. It actually works. It's a pushing train rather than a pulling train, and it completely fucking works. And then, and you know what's gonna happen is on a on a bend like this, the locomotive itself is actually gonna be over here. So when you look at this, you see that little bend. See when it's when it, when a when an actual cargo train is actually on a bend like that, it means I can't. Um, I can't put things into it uh, because it's on the bed. I, I mean, maybe you could. I'm not sure, but it's really awkward. But if you have a pushing train, uh, because you see here, I can't actually put these stops on the um, on the on the curve rails. I have to actually put them on the straight rails. You actually notice like the placement thing, like here. Good example here. Look, it just doesn't let me place it anywhere here. So that's why the the train stops have to be like this. But we can have the locomotives on a curve. Look, I just made this one stop right here, and then that's it. So these are going to be the dumbest fucking trains you've ever seen in your entire life, but they're good. They're, but they're brilliant at the exact same time because uh, of the way I have it pushing in rather than uh, pulling out or something or like pulling the train. They're not going to look like trains at all. I, I, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually acknowledging that, but it's actually the smartest thing I've 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 thought up ever. But that's I'm only tooting my own own horn here. So I have whatever 200 IQ. Let's play. Let's go. Um, so that's that's my justification for that. Like, I, I need to tell you guys, I'm actually venturing into a lot of uncharted territory here uh, because I'm not too sure of what I'm doing anymore. Um, also, we can destroy a lot of this crap now because that uh, we've actually completely we, we're completely done with the stone here. So we're gonna make the walls too too thick because uh, it's not really necessary for it to be any other way. Um, I'm actually gonna also maybe say, I was gonna say maybe di like divert all of this down here this way, but I'm not sure, because at the same time I don't want this to run out. Anyway, so we don't need this guy here anymore. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't know what to do about that right now. So that's the plan for that. Nuclear is almost done. Um, so we're gonna do two things first uh, before we start doing anything. First off, we need to. Uh, so the very first train we're going to make is going to be the uranium train. Uh, so we're going to get working on that. But actually, before we do that, we need to actually get uh, belts going. Because belts are actually pretty important. This is why I did start up before this. So even in, when nuclear power finishes, I'm actually not going to do anything with it. Uh, because we're going to make some belts. Uh, this is actually a pretty important thing. Uh, so a little bit more up the track here. Actually, Oops, I have this going completely the wrong direction. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually like, dude, guys, I'm genuinely excited for, like, I, I love to nerd out with this kind of shit, I won't lie. So, I'm genuinely excited for this, and I, I really want to do this run, so, um, yeah, uh, alright, that looks good. 
I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm extremely excited for this run. Like, I, I just, oh, that's all I want to do these days is I just want to play this game. And but I'm doing like another run of like, uh, game. Uh, nothing. I'm doing, I'm doing run of, um, of uh, Warcraft three and stuff. And so I actually really want to play this game. Um, not because I hate Warcraft three, but more because like I'm just so into this right now. Um, uh, so whatever. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna just record a bunch, which means like a lot of your feedback probably won't really hit me until a little bit later. So we're gonna make um, we're gonna make a crap ton of belts. I'm actually gonna put put it a, a bit further away, uh, so we can do something interesting like this. So we need we need red belts. Uh, actually, I don't know if I need to really do this. All right, this might be dumb, but I don't care. All right, so. Um, things that need to come off the line are gears and some other stuff, so, uh, we're trying to make, um, oops, uh, this needs to be, so the way it works is, so this need, fast underground belts need 40 iron gears, two underground belts, like, it needs a lot of materials for a lot of this crap, so, th this one needs, like, what is, what does this one need, this is, needs, like, iron gears, splitters, and electronic circuits, so electronic circuits are basically only required for the latter part, like, way up here, um, so we can kind of just bring that right up. Uh, and then something else. And then I also need gears. Gears can kind of just come in through the middle. And these two need iron. So what I'm probably going to do is something kind of like this. Oops. Uh, is that actually okay? Yeah, yeah that is fine. All right. So we're also going to make a place to get splitters eventually, but yeah, it's fine for now. Uh, let me get some big poles. Something like up here. Oh, I apparently left a, a gigantic pole over here. So I, I just need these to be constructing right now because when we're done with the, the base, we're actually going to need to have like an abundance of um, chests with us. So we're gonna do something like this. So the reason we do this is because for some reason, all the intermediate products like this needs this splitter needs uh, another a yellow splitter to start. So you know it we have a buffer chest here. So we don't need that many splitters. We don't need that many belts. We have a place making belts any uh, anyways. We don't need that many underground belts. But then they need to go into their own chests because we need to save up a couple of these, particularly with the red ones. The red ones is what we need the most of, and this is going to be a bit of a, um, a resource hog for a little bit, not going to lie. Um, and we only have this. We need to make sure it's not filling up this chest all the way full of this crap, because... Yeah, we just want to be able to kind of go over and... Okay, we've done nuclear power. We want to just be able to go over and do this. Um, so, we're going to be using a lot of resources really fast right now, so it's a question of, do I want to go into advanced material processing, or do I want to get some other intermediate... Uh, research is done like logistic robots which need uh which are which are good we kind of need those we will get those or efficiency modules which we should, we should actually start making i'm gonna start going into modules those are a research that we've actually neglected does this need anything else other than iron uh, just gears and stuff all right so actually we can we can totally do it like right here uh do something like this. So I, I realize why now I have an odd number of these things be, uh, because I think I think I neglected the fact that how many gears does this need? Actually none. That's excellent. Actually 40 gears. Fuck you game. All right. Uh, 40 gears is a lot. I'm kind of all over the place. I've also drunken a lot of coffee today. I'm not gonna lie. I love coffee. This is kind of why I get a little bit hyperactive, maybe. Actually, I really don't. I'm actually perfectly fine. I d I'm just excited for this game, honestly. Yeah, it's probably also amplified by coffee, fine. I'm an addict, I'll admit. Alright. So we're making this right now. And this is... I just want to show off this, because we need this to be made. Uh, okay, so apparently... I'm just going to use the crappy-ass bowls, because... Alright. Uh, almost done. So this also needs to have tra yellow transport belts. 
And this also needs yellow transport belts, but these do not require a red belt or anything, so... So this one guy is kind of the king, I guess. I guess we could make a blue belt for that. Uh, sorry, a blue insert over here. I guess they could all use blue inserters. I mean, this is probably completely unnecessary, actually. But I'm doing it anyways. Alright. Uh, oh, this needs... Oh, this needs some shit, too. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay. So, this is gonna take a while, by the way, because this one's gonna be, a, like, a hog. And I, I kind of realized that, but it's like, uh, it's okay. We're gonna... We're also gonna bring in more iron, as well. Okay, so, what I'm gonna work on now... As we're gonna work on a train stop here, so this is uh, this is gonna be a nuclear train. Um, nuclear requires, uh, uh, or at least getting uranium ore actually requires sulfuric acid. We actually happen to be making sulfuric acid here, um, so we actually need to bring this all the way to this side. Uh, well, a little bit further than that, actually. We need to bring it all the way down there. So, and I and I actually hate doing things like this, but it's uh, gonna have to happen. But yeah. Because we gotta do... Yeah, this is fucking atrocious. But that's okay, you know what? There's actually no reason that we need this thing to be... Something like that. Be able to go through. Yeah, by the way, we're gonna kick, we're gonna kick up our iron. Because I've just decided, though... Um... So right over here, uh, there's another iron patch here, and there's another iron patch here. So what we're going to do as a part of getting this uranium, we're also going to encompass everything here. So instead of having these outposts, we will still use the outpost layout, but it'll be a little bit later. Uh, we're going to continue on modules. Um, I'll explain what those are a bit later. So instead of instead of making more outposts, I think I'm done with the outposts. I think I think they're not going to serve our purpose, and I think they're going to be a problem. Um, and this turret's almost dead, but that's okay. We're going to solve that too all in due time. Um, so instead what we're going to do is we're going to expand the wall actually around around this stuff. And then, yeah, and then we're going to get it. So let's get sulfuric acid going to the trains first. Oops. Not really. There you go. Much better. Fuck, really? Uh, I don't want to remove any water. That's some of our other crap that we have here. We're gonna just leave the car here. Actually, we're not. I, I just decided we're not. You need fuel? Of course you need fuel. Because our furnaces are going as fast as possible, but... I mean, it's just simply not fast enough. We need, we need another line of iron. Uh, we need a lot of iron. This is part of the reason why we're making so much uh, shit right here. Uh, oh, also I didn't bring it green chips, so uh, yeah, that was a mistake. So yeah, this used actually a lot of rails. Not gonna lie, uh, a lot of rails were used. Also, that's a lot of pipes I just put into my inventory. We don't need that many. We need some, but not that many. All right, let me head back up here and uh, finish this guy up because. We don't leave this half done. Alright. Fuck. I have to actually make these by hand. Now, by the way, we're going to make an inserter maker as well. Um, that's probably going to be the next thing on my list uh, as well uh, to do. Probably right next to this guy as well. Alright. There we go. So ready as it is, there's already 19 belts, but it's the it's the it's the iron gear requirements that are ri ridiculous on this stuff. But I can just I can just feed it a bunch and then feed the other one a bunch just so it gets uh, a little bit going because it's five iron gears each. But we're we're gonna need it. Like it's just kind of the nature of how this game works, particularly when we're working on this these furnaces. So I I, I kind of wish I could divert more to the gears, but. As it stands, our entire factory is using them. In fact, like, steel is getting eaten, I think, by the laser turrets. Because I actually grabbed a bunch more. Uh, and flamethrower turrets. So, because I grabbed more because I, we're going to need them to build uh, the wall out here. So, 
Let me finish what I was doing for the other guy. Um, and then, yeah, so we're gonna expand basically to this iron as well. And there's stone beside it as well, which is gonna come in handy, even though we have stone nearby. We're gonna require the stone as well. So let me finish up this sulfuric acid uh, bullshit I was doing. I don't really wanna have this thing go with me. And I'm, I'm keeping an eye on this coal because you see how it's like, it's just basically using it, all of it. So we're reaching the end of that coal, but I'm hoping that I can uh, be lazy and actually not uh, use it. All right, so let's do something like right here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I need to have it go up anymore. I kind of want it to go through here. Okay. So I, I've made, as I said, I've, I've already created this like intricate system for train waiting yards. And there's actually two of them now. Uh, one will be for purely ores and one will be for things that are not really ores that I don't think will, like, it will, it's just kind of like the auxiliary train area kind of thing. It doesn't, I, I don't think we're going to need it as much kind of a deal. Okay, so I'll show you how this works. This is a very simple process. So, oh, luckily, since I have light oil going around, it's just, it's really easy for me just to plug in here, you know? So that was nice. All right, so let me get the last module going. We're going to need all of this as well. I'm gonna start going on the other stuff as well. All right, so for for this stuff, uh, so this is gonna be uranium trains. So we make our uranium trains green. Uh, there only needs to be one stop because we're only ever gonna have one stop. Uh, so that's gonna be kind of good. It's easy to work out. So this one is very simple. We kind of just go. That's how we're gonna do it. And this is gonna say fill uranium uh sulfuric acid barrel. Oh sorry. I, was I calling it like the, the liquid sul like uranium? No, but it's needed to it's needed to mine uh uranium, so that's why we have that. So this is our system here. So we brought it all the way from our base. We don't use sulfuric acid in a bunch of things, so I actually don't mind bringing it over. But it's one of the few things that we will have to concern ourselves with. And let me uh get a large power pole somewhere. Oh, right there, right here. Alright. Somewhere like right here, okay. And then, uh, we do this. So, we do this because we want the barrels to go basically into that. Um, it's basically the same barrel buffering system that you saw me use before. Um, so this one's gonna actually just create uh, uh, sulfuric acid barrels. So it will, it will fill them up as fast as it, it needs to, and it actually does it really fast. So it, it will go, it will work pretty fast. So you just put as much, oh shit, actually, one second, let's uh, stop that. Because um, we're going to have two sulfuric acid uh, barrels, and then the rest is going to be uranium ore. I know. Actually, I think I want to be in the front trains, so let's, uh, let's maybe put in the front trains instead. Okay, you can stop that now. So I'm just gonna copy the same thing I did, actually. So I think I wanted the rear trains. The rear trains will actually still have sort of a purpose for defense. Actually, no. No, there's actually no reason for them to have anything remotely like that. I'm just trying to see if, no, 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 we do we do actually want that. Okay, never mind. never mind. Sorry, there is actually gonna be a purpose to the these, uh, these trains like here. Um, uh, I'll just put this as wood again. You've seen me do this before. Uh, just fill up the slot with muscle thing. The problem, that, the one problem I do have is that these things are not uh, uniformly having uh, the same output as they should. So the front train will have the empty barrels. Okay. Uh, like I said, you'll kind of see it's it's a plan in motion. It's it's kind. I know it's odd for me to tell you like, oh, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, but um, I'm not joking. You will. <laughs> uh, I, I hate I hate leaving it because especially like the stuff about the nuclear power and how it's gonna transfer the um I mean it was a good idea at the time. Hmm. You see, this is this is the problem. It's like, you know, these outposts, I mean they will defend themselves, and I was gonna bring also on the trains um some stuff for them to, you know to have like that, but yeah. Alright, so 
I think just one thing full of sulfuric acid barrels is enough. That will probably be enough. Because once it, once again, it works upon the same principle of uh, when it brings it enough, it will be fine. All right, so we're done modules. I guess we might as well get logistic uh, stuff out of the way. Because we kind of need that. As I said, I'm trying not to do the other research because it's that's the, that's the time-consuming one. Uh, all right, so this guy will make steel barrels. I don't know how many more I need, though. I was just going to have that basically go. So there you go. So that's not doing any more than that. So we kind of just want it to have... This is going to make 100 barrels, so maybe not 100. Because, like, like I said, there's only going to be one or two sulfuric acid tra uh, trains, so we're actually not too concerned with that. All right, that's all we need for that. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do... So, like I said, I'm going to retire this guy a little bit later. Uh, right now, this is what our trains run on, so I can't really change that. It's just like, I've put light oil into all these, so, as I said, if I extend the wall over, then it really doesn't matter how I do things. So, here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to deconstruct the wall in terms of, um, like, pretty much like this. I'll actually show you. Ta-da. I'm going to update my blueprints. And the blueprints are all going to say... Uh, oh, really? Such a pain in the ass. The blueprints are all going to say, for now on, our walls will not be uh, three thick. They'll be two thick. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna also change all these outposts as well. Actually, I have to be careful about this. So basically, the trains will never leave the safety of walls ever. I'm gonna just drive around the the wall and then make sure they do the, their thing. Um, and then I'll uh, I don't know what research to really do. I guess I'll get the furnaces going, the electric furnaces, which are the next biggest upgrade for us. There you go. See, easy. But I still have to drive around the the walls and get that going. And then um, and then the next plan. Right after I do this, is I will have a wall created here, so you'll see that in a bit. So, uh, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, I'm um, in the middle of trying to construct the wall. Um, well, the, the remainder of this wall, but I did want to show you guys something. Um, so this base has gone completely dark, uh, and this is one of the problems. Um, so why has it gone completely dark? If we actually go over here, uh, avoiding the biters here. Aha! Uh -huh. It's out of power. Why is it out of power? Because we, lo <coughs> we lost one of the um, the power lines at one point. This one. So, they will attack them. That's the thing. So that's why we want to bring the power over manually. That was my solu That was my original solution for that. But, as you can see, it. I mean, it may have worked out, but I do, I do not feel like that would have been like a good thing. By the way, we're at the uranium here. Um, we're clearing out nests, but uh, um, I'm not... I'm just I'm completing this wall. Like this is this is how we're doing this. I'm not gonna do this for everything. Like as I said, we're doing we're doing highway lines up to other things. It's just that there's so many things in this area. I did, figured that there's actually no reason not to do this. Uh, just for this. Just for this. By the way, I also want to mention, looking at evolution factor, it's 0.8. They pretty much do not spawn anything other than big biters anymore. Um, it's just one of those things. Uh, also, we have walls. So, oh, also, if you were curious of why I reduced the wall to two, uh, it's because A, I don't have enough walls, B, three is a bit too much, I think. Uh, I also need to remove all this, so we're going to say trees and rocks only. Alright, there you go. Let me remove that. Just to get rid of these trees in the way. Oh, uh, this could be a problem. Yeah, I wasn't quite expecting them to go in now. Okay, oh, I guess I'm really close, aren't I? Well, it's, uh... Yeah, we're starting to... We're starting to have a bit of issues with, uh... Let me just uh, put away my repair packs. That looks like that's not going to be a possibility. Let me bring these guys all back in for myself. Alright. Let's uh, clear out this nest. So they, they spawn nothing but the big stuff now. Uh, that's not as big as they get though. They get they get much larger than that. How many do I have? 17. Right? It's not bad. It's not as big as they get. 
Uh, they get larger than that, but it's uh, big enough, let me tell you. It's enough, it's enough for me to deal with. So this is, we're starting to get into the difficulty of this, and this is why I regretted even thinking about having the small outpost that the trains run to, because this is how big that they're getting now. I'll just imagine later. Also, I mentioned another problem that we're having. Because we have so many laser turrets on the line, we're actually having um, blackouts occasionally. They're micro blackouts, like they're, they don't happen for very long, but still not a nice thing. Uh, because we, but I mean, I figure at this point, I mean, someone pointed it out earlier in an earlier episode, um, way before, as I said, I'm recording this way in advance, unfortunately. I'm, I apologize if you said, if you asked me to do something or whatever, and then I didn't do it. Um, cause I'm just so into this run right now. Anyways, um, we're having micro blackouts. So like, uh, when the laser wall particularly gets hit, uh, everything in the factory becomes depowered because the way... The way lasers work is they have an idle draw for for energy consumption, but they also have a uh, how what their draw is when they're actually f shooting. And the the thing is, we're actually going to want to double the amount of lasers we have on the wall. I actually started to kind of do it over here, uh, and then I realized that was a terrible idea because I simply don't have the power requirements for it. So, but basically, what they work is they work off an internal kind of energy buffer. Uh, that's kind of what they do, and so they're basically having to recharge but then they siphon all the energy away from the rest of the factory and the rest of the factory doesn't run for like a split microsecond kind of a deal uh I, it's not that big of a problem but it's like you know it's enough that we would probably prefer that didn't happen um but we can we will be fine with that for now uh it's not a huge issue all right so there we go we got this guy we got the uranium ore patch here uh, we're almost to this guy here so I'll show you kind of what I had in mind for this. Uh, so I know that this is kind of weird because this rail line kind of comes in through here. But we're going to actually just tra change the way these rails work. They're going to kind of... We're, we got, we're going to remove part of this wall anyway, so... Uh, we might as well just do it now. Um, I don't know if I really want to show you all this, though. Let me just uh, make sure that... Because they, they have no power anymore. So actually, the thing that happens is if I put just put them back in my inventory, they just recharge like that. Um, it's just a, kind of the weird weird thing in the game where they don't they get the they get the power after they use it, but if you pick them up, it's as if you've got a new bot and they they treat it as like a new thing. It's exploit. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this place was not going for a little bit, uh, which is extremely not good. So um, not too happy about that. Anyways, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So this is the way. I don't know wh which way this is. Alright, so obviously we can't do anything about this, but... Um, we're gonna do... Something along these lines. We're gonna remove a lot of this. Also delete that. So, I'm just gonna have it go kind of up here instead. What the hell's in the way here? Oh, it's a signal. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix it later. Signals. Uh, this is one of those. This is one of the ones where I did a three wall. Uh, actually, this was the only one I did a three wall. This one was a two wall. Fortunately, I was uh, I was far smarter back then, and this also became an issue just now. So you can see why I have a bit of an issue with things the way they are. But yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just bring the train line up this way. Uh, and we're going to reconnect it right here. Um, maybe we actually do it properly. Right, there you go. And same deal goes for over here as well, for this line. And then we're going to just disconnect this line, and then they'll start coming from the other side instead. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. means we do need to add a couple more uh, signals though. How many do I have? I have five with me right now. Okay. Kind of how we're fixing this up. Not the best fixes, but it's the ones that we'll have to do for now. Alright, so here we go. We disconnect these two, and they're automatically now gonna gonna start going through the other way, or at least they should. And also, I should do that. 
Unless they have a pathing issue, but I, I will see. I'll be able to see it from here. This should work fine. The idea is not to make them not come down here. The idea is to make them come down here in a way that's acceptable. That would work out really well. And yeah, so I've learned my lesson, from, by the way, from this base, having so many attacks, that we're not leaving any side undefended, because they just, they find, they find the gaps, man. Alright, here, here, here comes the one. So, yep, he's perfectly fine with the new route. Goes to, back to the exact same place. So, that's all we need to do. Alright, well, I'm going to resume the wall building, so just going to encompass around here, probably go down slightly, then around to get this stone as well. Um, if I hit the stone as well, it's fine. As you can see, that we've christened the new part of the wall here. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, we're going to get that, we're going to get that, we're going to get the coal, I'm going to shove it, we don't need this uranium, it's useless. We're going to get that, this uh, iron ore patch, obviously this is going to now be a part of it, and we're going to make it go all the way there, so... Not much else updates required in terms of that, but that's the main stuff that we're getting out of here. I just had to redirect the train slightly. Alright, well, see you in a bit. Oh shit. Alright guys, I made it all the way here. Um, for the very first time in the game, I actually heard the steam is low uh, sound. Because I had to deal with all these nests. Um, the problem is, uh, coal. Uh, is not really making it to the end anymore. We just uh, upped our consumption greatly with coal, so we're gonna actually head back and uh, add some more coal to the lines, but it's actually pretty ridiculous how much uh, was added with that. Oops. Oh good, it just remade the same thing. All right. So I just, uh, I actually, it, it's a good thing I set up that alarm because then it made me look at the coal and stuff and yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, we need to, I guess, go fix that. Uh, but the wall's coming along nicely, um, so I'm just, I was just clearing out the nest that would be on the inner parts of the wall, and then, uh, then we clear out some of that stuff and then we get going, so, uh, nice, we have a good abundance of resources here as well, um, so yeah, it's, it's not having the best of times here, but I'll show you kind of what I have in mind, oh yeah, and also the red belts are also ready, so I guess we'll go take a look at that. So we obviously want this to clear out, because I, I honestly don't want this shit to be here anyways. Um, I'm trying to get rid of this garbage that I have around here all the time. It's like 16k, like how? Probably because I wasn't actually using it properly, but whatever. I'll just do this. Okay, we'll do something like this. There we go. Now we're seething in the darkness again. Oh well. So I'm just going to try and use this copper up a little bit faster. There we go. That's not bad. Alright, we're trying to get through that copper a little bit faster now. Uh, so let me come up the line here a little bit. Yeah, I have literally no battery. That's why my night vision went off. Alright, so... Uh, first things first. I would like some miners, but I guess we can't really have those. We're just going to have to construct them ourselves. I guess. Luckily there's a line here for me to do that with now. So it's, go it's going along as, as swimmingly as I expected it to. Also I have a lot of resources here for things like steam turbines and stuff, by the way that requires a shit ton of gears. But that's okay. Um, so what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these, we're gonna take a stack I think of each. So I'll take half of that and half of that. Primarily we want the other stuff though, and I'll take a bit of belts. I don't need that many yellow belts, but the red belts we're going to need, though. Um, I figure I can grab those. Because now we can... What I can do is I can just red belt the line now. Um, it's... I don't know. It's faster than having two crappy belts, so... It's kind of the way I, I figure is a good fix for this shit. Also, I, I... I guess I damaged these at some point. I didn't realize I did that. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, when we get to the end here, it becomes a bit of an issue. Um, and so that can't actually be happening to us, because, as you know, uh, coal is our lifeblood right now. At least for a little bit longer. Um, so, we need to increase our production temporarily. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this guy here, because we're eventually gonna mine this all out anyways. Oh yeah, also the rail line kind of is here now, so I might actually make it slightly better. Actually mine out the stuff at the bottom here. I actually hate how I have this working. Let's do that. All right. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do something like this. I would like to make absolute sure that we're getting everything we can out of this. How many more can I have? That's good enough. All right. So it's very simple. We do here. And a yellow belt is all over. I priority splitted it, I guess, but whatever. Alright. Alright, yeah, I priority splitted that one. Which is still fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. We just need a couple of uh, red splitters for this ship. And it's the first time we're gonna be red belting something, so that's gonna be nice. Fuck. Seriously, like, I hate it when they do this. Because, like, dude, like, it's because if. It, the thing is, when they try and get back to me, they're out of power then. It sucks, but we're gonna have to work on that eventually. Alright. So it's very important, but yeah, we need to express belt this all up. Or sorry, it's not this is actually not express belt. It's just red belting it. Uh, let's see here. So red belts are twice as fast. Uh, yeah, you can see you can actually see it running out of power now. It's ridiculous, huh? But this is uh I'm gonna just accept the blackouts for now. Cause it does like it's now just diverting to our defenses. So, well, I don't know why I did this. I think I was lazy, and then now, now I pay for it. All right, and we have this guy. So now it is absolutely guaranteed to be 100% saturated, and we can actually red belt some of it down, but I think two yet full yellow belts is actually not a problem for us. Because it's just the problem was that there wasn't two full yellow belts coming through but now there is yeah this is this is good now i think i'll even uh do this now look at this it, it wasn't even making it to the end for these furnaces either but now now it is so all right that's good so once again we got saved by our little alarm system well i, I wouldn't say saved it still would have been fine but it it's just funny to kind of see a metric kind of like like that where like it actually was consuming so much uh, steam that we had in reserve. So it's like, it's as I said, it's like accumulators, basically, the way we have it working. So it's, uh, it's kind of nice. I guess the biters came over here. Damn dirty biters. So wall's continuing uh, now, so yeah, we're good.